today we're going to start our next topic vendor master customizing so the topics we're going to cover they are understand the role of account group in vendor master customize vendor master record and its customizing number range customizing field selection in vendor master record partner role setup partner schema and its determination so we'll start with the business example now so far previously in the previous lessons we have seen many times that how we can create a vendor and uh, when we create a vendor we have the option to uh, select an account group so this is another thing that we're going to learn today that what is the role of account group and what are the customizing behind that account group so as a part of business example suppose your company is planning to carry out the subcontracting process externally in future your project team has decided that a separate account group should be created for the subcontractors you have been asked to customize this account group in the sap system so setting for vendor master record now when we talk about the vendor master record customizing then we can divide all the available customizing into five different parts so first part is account group okay how do we assign how do we customize the account group okay and what are the uh, settings and the functions behind account group then we'll see what is uh, field selection then we'll see what is number assignment for the vendor master record then we'll see the level for vendor master record and finally we'll see the partner roles and its determination in the vendor master record so let us start with the first part which is account group okay what is account group for a vendor and how do we customize it and what are the functionalities provided by the account group setup so before i start this uh, let me show you what is account group just to refresh your memory so like we created xk01 we used xk01 transaction to create a vendor so here we use the account group okay so i already explained in the one of the previous class about the account group and what is good supplier vendor forwarding agent and all that so that's the account group is mandatory to choose first before you create a vendor now with regards to the account group these are the functionalities that are being controlled by the account group so first of all your account group will decide how the master record is used that means is it a one time vendor or a normal vendor so in a minute i will show the customizing as well and also when account group will control that whether the internal number range or external number range should be used okay so number range and the field selection that means it will also decide that what fields are mandatory to enter when you create a vendor or what fields are hidden what fields are optional things like that and also it will control that if vendor sub range or pl plant specific data are allowed okay so i'll discuss about this one in a minute and also the partner roles what are the roles that you can maintain for your account group or for your vendor now you can use this menu path to open the uh, customizing of um, vendor account group or you can directly jump to the transaction omsg so if i go to spro and sap reference img here if i go to logistic journal and then we have uh, business partner and then we have vendor then we have control and then we have define account group and field selection vendor open that so here you can see all the account groups that you can see when you create a new vendor in xk01 
so here if i pick one say first one okay so zero zero one and i can go to detail so here you can see all the customizing so i'll talk about all this customizing one by one so first of all we'll, we'll talk about the number range what is number range and how it is customized and how it is assigned okay so number range so to see the number range i need to go back one step so here you can see it has a number range assigned as 02 okay now where this 02 is coming from you need to go back one step and here you can see see define number range for vendor master record open that click on number range so here you can see for account group 001 you have number range 02 assigned Okay, now wait zero two is customized to see that go back one step and go to intervals. So here you can see all the number ranges available. Okay, so I already discussed in the previous lecture that uh, how to customize a new number range. Okay, and these number range are basically very straightforward. Okay, as I have discussed earlier that you just need to click on plus sign and here enter you can Z whatever Z, ZG or Z1 and you can enter a new number range okay whatever you want uh, let me cancel this so I'll, I'll be giving this part in the uh, this task in the assignment today for you to do and I already already explained about this what is the meaning of the external so in the previous class so same meaning is here that if uh, if the vendor is created in your SAP MM system from some external software okay so external software can be a third party ERP software can be SRM, SAP SRM system even. Okay, so customer created in SRM, and it is replicated to your vendor. So then you will be using the external vendor number range. Okay, so again, if you can't remember, then you can please go back to the previous lecture where I explained in detail about the number range, and you can refresh your memory. So here you can define your number range as we discussed already previously. And then in the other step, you will be assigning this number range. So here at the moment, you can see 02 is the number range and that is the latest number being used. Okay, so I can go back, go back here. Say no. Yes, okay. So here, go to the number range. Here for this account group 02 is assigned. Okay, so if you, if you open this search box here, you will see all the available number ranges that are coming from the previous customizing screen. So that is how the number range is assigned. Okay, now we'll go back. Go back. Now we'll go back to the vendor um, account group for the vendor and double click on vendor 001 account group so now you know what is number range and where it's coming from and how you, how you can have your own number range then we'll discuss about field selection what field selection is that depending on the account group you can have the option of having different fields that are you that you can some hide some fields you can make some field mandatory things like that okay so for example if you go to this you can see field status for general data company code data purchasing data as you know that if i go to xk01 again so here if i xk01 so here you enter, enter the company code and purchasing log so data is maintained at this level and this level and also at plant level you can maintain Okay, so I'll discuss the plan level in a minute. If I go to XK02 and it will show these levels and for general data is stored here, here, here and here in four different area. Company code data is stored here and like purchasing data is stored here. So you can click on the check box here to see what data you want to see. And so at, at every level, for example, a general data level, some fields, if I open that, say, okay, just open a general data open 